as I've kind of teased up till now, today we're going to be learning all about using Google Analytics 4 as your e-commerce analytics tool, both for tracking, reporting, all of that stuff. Mike will take us into some more in-depth, the detailed reporting um, looks as far as orienting yourself in Google Analytics 4 and understanding what you're really looking at when you're in the platform. He's also going to take us into some live examples, both in the uh, Google Analytics 4 demo store, as well as within some in-house reports we have here for Inflow. Um, just to give you an example of some of the capabilities of the platform and what it would look like as you're actually going through it. So now that you know, we understand some of the basics about the metrics and we understand you know, how to orient ourselves and have a little bit of better idea of what we're looking at when we look at reports in Google Analytics, let's look at some live examples and see where we can find some of this stuff. We're going to look at how to analyze your product and category sales in the standard report section. Let's look at analyzing some products uh, and categories. So to do that, we're going to stay in uh, GA4 and we're going to switch to the Google Analytics 4 Google Merchandise Store. This is a demo account. The data is uh, not real, but it's realistic, if you will, in most cases. So there are some issues that we find from time to time. And so in here, what we're going to do is go to the monetization section and then come down to e-commerce purchases. The default here will be uh, item name. And so what we can see here is all of the items that uh, were viewed, you know, how many times they were added to the cart, the purchases, uh, the revenue that those generated, et cetera. What isn't always immediately obvious is how to sort. And you kind of have to roll over and get this little arrow to show up, and then you can click that. So now we've got it sorted by revenue descending. And we can see here that today's bestseller, or at least for this time period, is the Google Perk Thermal Tumbler, and that generated uh, $3,700 in revenue. That's great. You can also use this to, as we came in here before, the same report, you can analyze categories. And so same thing here, you can look at what your best, set, best selling categories are on the site. You can also, of course, flip this, look at what the most underperforming categories and items are, uh, start to look at some other metrics and customizing these reports uh, and figuring out how to best optimize your e-commerce store. 